Easter Cookie Decorating 2021. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to share with you a lot of ideas for Easter cookies. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and let's get started. I love to make Easter cookies and these Easter eggs are one of my favorites because they represent a lot of the meaning of Easter. I love to make 3D Easter cookies because they help me to decorate my dessert table or my Easter table. I like to make these bunnies because they are so cute and sometimes you can even personalize them or put the name of your guest in the cookies. I have a 3D Easter basket cookie cutter that it was always very intimidating for me but finally I decided to make it a few years ago and I really really like it. And for this Easter bunny I use the same cookie cutter that I used to make the first bunnies that I told you but for this case I use coconut to have an effect of moss. Stencil cookies. You can use stencils to help you to decorate cookies and to make these Faberge inspired Easter eggs cookies. These stencils help me a lot. One of my favorite techniques for Easter cookies is the flood and flood technique because you can make a lot of different color combinations and they look super cute and it's super easy. For Easter I really like to personalize the cookies or put monograms or names on them because they make them very very special for your guests or for your family members. Easter animal cookies. They are super cute and I like to make them every year a little different. I use different techniques and also I use different kind of decorations for them. Easter cookies. I really like to add little flowers to the cookies. Every time that I have leftover icing, I like to make flowers to use them for many occasions. decor cookies. As I told you in the beginning, I love to use my cookies to decorate my table or the dessert tables. They look super cute and for this case I use the Fabergé inspired eggs, the 3D bunnies, the baskets and also I make some napkin rings and name tags using cookies. are very special for the kids. They really really like to play with them before eat them and also it's very nice if you invite them to decorate them. PYO watercolor cookies. This is a very new trend and I really really like them. You can make a watercolor palette using royal icing or also you can use a PYO or paint your own palette made from edible images. So these cookies are very nice because they could be an activity for your parties. Everybody will love to decorate their cookies using these watercolor palettes. It's super easy and not messy at all. Who doesn't want a peep 
for Easter. These cookies are super cute in case you don't like the marshmallow pigs. Speckled eggs. These are very fun to do. You can use a mix of coffee extract or you can use food gel color to make different color combinations. Polka dots cookies, these are my favorites and everybody likes to make them and everybody likes how they look. You can use toothpicks or wood sticks that you have handy in the kitchen. to do and your family members and your guests will like also to decorate the cookies. These dots are super fun and very very cute. You just bake your cookies, make your royal icing, cover your cookies and add some sprinkles. I love vintage Easter cards and these cookies are inspired in them. These are a little bit more complicated but they look very cute. also make crosses for Easter and you can make different color combinations or you can make them as simple as white. And these are so much fun too! The confetti. You might say that all the cookies are fun but yes they are fun. These are confetti eggs cookies and these are one of the traditions that we adopt here in the United States because in Mexico we used to do it for March. Okay guys, this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoy these cookies and that these cookies inspire you to make some for your family this Easter. Happy Easter to everyone and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and see you until next time. Bye bye!